Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a full face of advice. No, I'm just kidding. So today I'm going to be trying out some new makeup, some oldies and some new stuff, but also I'm going to be telling you guys what top 10 things I think you should learn before you turn 30. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, then stick around. It's coming up right now. So I turned 30 this year and I learned so many things. I mean, I've learned a lot over the years in my life, but now that I have a chance to actually speak on that um, on my channel, I'm going to do that today. All right, guys. So I thought I would do a get ready with me so that there's something for you to visually watch while I spill my guts about what I think you guys should know. So I'm going to be applying my makeup while I do each tip, 1 through 10. They're not in any particular order. I recently just got highlights in my hair, and I'm so excited. Well, I didn't get highlights. I got a balayage. My sister did it. She's super, super talented. She works at a salon called Studio Me, and all the girls there are just so great. It has such a good vibe. Everyone there is very talented. My sister's been working with them for a long, long time, so I highly recommend it if you guys are in the Ottawa area. Check out Studio Me. Huge shout out to the ladies over there. So, so today I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Powerplay Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff so much. It is so freaking good, guys. So I'm gonna get started. My first piece of advice, number one, is if you don't like where you are in your life, then get up and get out. This is a very important tip for a lot of you guys who are in a program in school that you don't like, or you know, you are at a dead end job you don't like, or you just aren't doing what you set out to do when you were younger and you're not following your dreams. The best thing I could say is, Quit whatever it is you're doing and start over. It's okay to do that. You don't want to be doing something for the rest of your life that makes you unhappy. You want to be chasing your dreams and regardless of what people say, because it's no one else's life but your own. You should wake up every day feeling ecstatic about the day ahead of you. And I highly recommend if you guys aren't happy where you are, then you need to change it right away. I've always been the type of person that I never knew what I wanted to do. I didn't have a clue. So I kind of just bounced from one thing to another. I had some beef with family members. Like some people thought, you know, you're never going to amount to anything in your life. I had a lot of pressure and sometimes I didn't have enough pressure. So for a lot of my life, I wasted it, you know, dating and acting a fool and drinking and partying and making stupid decisions, but also just feeling lost. And I think that's kind of why I took the direction I did when I was younger. But at the same time, I wouldn't change anything I've done because it led me to this path and I wouldn't change this path for anything. I kind of just did what I felt like I had to do for myself, but also it helped me discover my true passion, which is this, which is being on YouTube, creating videos, playing with makeup and potentially giving life advice. Like this is my true passion. And I always knew I wanted to help people, but I just, I didn't know how to do that within the system. You know what I mean? Within the system that you have to go to school and you have to do this and that. That wasn't really my thing. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to go to school. But if you have a vision in your mind, just know that all you have to do is take the first step. You don't have to see the whole staircase and trust that the universe will provide you the way. You don't have to be miserable. You don't have to do something that other people want you to do to fit into their idea of what you should be. It's about you. It's your life. So get out there and do what you love. Number two, you have to love yourself. Between the time I turned 20 to the time I turned 30, I had this idea in my head that happiness was finding a mate and getting married and having kids, but I was very wrong. That is not what life is about and that is not what finding happiness is about. You can't find happiness in somebody else. If you try to do that, you'll never truly find happiness. Being happy is loving yourself and loving the people around you and giving your all to yourself, but also trying to give all that you can to others. And you can't give that to others when you're not loving yourself. You've got to realize that you'll never be truly happy if you can't love yourself. And this is gonna bring me into number three, which is being with somebody isn't gonna make you happy and finding marriage and finding a soulmate isn't gonna make you happy. And being single was the best thing that ever could have happened to me. From high school, I had a boyfriend. Was it a five-year relationship, a three-year relationship? It was one after the other, they rolled into each other. And I realize now that that was because I was just lonely. 
I didn't want to be alone. I didn't want to be by myself. I was afraid of dying alone. And that was just so ridiculous. I don't know why I had this idea in my head that I had to have a boyfriend to feel secure. And when they didn't make me feel secure, I fell into a downward spiral of depression and self-hate because they didn't love me enough. And that's not healthy for any person. Really, what you need to do is learn to love yourself first before you could ever be happy in any relationship. And that's why number three is be single. It's the best thing you could do for yourself. You can travel the world. You can learn about what you love and what you don't love and what you want and what you don't want. And it's okay to be alone. And once you learn how to be alone and love being in your own company is when you truly start to find yourself and truly start to love yourself. And there's no greater love in the world than the one that you have for you. And of course your children. But this is just assuming this is about you and not your kids and your family. This is just about you. Being single gives you the time to do all the things you've always wanted to do. So I really recommend being single. But I know that sounds kind of strange and kind of like weird, but... If you're stuck in a relationship right now that makes you feel insecure or or if you're somebody who's always been insecure in a relationship, whether you think they're cheating on you and they're not, whether they are treating, cheating on you and you stay, you got to try to be okay with being alone. And whether it takes a month or three years to discover yourself and, and learn to love yourself, it is so worth it because it's going to carry with you for the rest of your life. And there's no better gift than that. Guys, I got to tell you, this foundation is just... It's the best foundation I've ever used, hands down. I wish there was a little bit more full coverage, but other than that, throw on a little bit of concealer if you need it, but this is the bombest, the bombest foundation ever. It is so hot in my apartment today. I don't have any idea why. It's a little bit humid, like it's kind of raining today. So it's kind of, um, humid, ugh, okay. Get those ears covered up. So the concealer I'm gonna go in with today is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this concealer. The only thing about it is it dries down really quickly, so you gotta be careful. Just do section by section, but it is so brightening and it covers everything. Like there's not going to be a single dark circle poking through this concealer, I tell you that much. Like look at the difference. So bright. I'm going to set my under eyes with the Fit Me in the color Fair. And we're going to move on to the next, which is number four. Number four is don't talk about it, be about it. So this is a really good piece of advice. I find that a lot of people, including myself in the past, have had lots of great ideas of what I was gonna do with my life or a grand plan for something. And I talked about it, I told all my friends and family, yeah, I'm so excited, I'm gonna start doing this and that and this and that. And what happens? It doesn't happen. And I find that has a lot to do with, for me, I felt like it was like a pressure or I almost psyched myself out of it because I talked so much about it. Instead, I feel like real G's move in silence and you have a really good plan. Do it behind the scenes. Do it in your own time. Work quietly so that when you've actually completed a goal or a task, you can then present it and say, look what I've done. I find that that is the best way to execute anything in life. The more talk, the less you do and the less, you know, you want to do it. So I really recommend if you guys have any grand plans for life, do it. Don't just talk about it, F and do it. I'm just gonna quickly set my face. I'm gonna go in with my Lisa Frank and Glamour Dolls bronzer. Like, doesn't that have a nice finish? I really, really like it. Obviously it wouldn't be good for darker skin tones, but for the fair ones, this is a really nice bronzer. I look like a China doll right now. So pasty, I gotta get some blush on this face. I picked up some little blushers from the face shop and they are so cute, I couldn't resist myself. Plus they were on sale, so duh. They are these like little cute packaging and oh, this is what they look like. I picked up the coral, this is the peach rose. I think I'm gonna try the peach cushion. Oh, that's so pretty. It's quite pigmented, I must say. This is the coral. It's so pretty and natural, like it's super buildable. And it's a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. So freaking cute. And they were on sale, so if you guys have a face shop near you, you should check it out. They're, they make really nice gifts. They're so pretty. Oh, it is hot in my apartment. Let's move on to number five. Number five is express gratitude every day. So. I recently started doing this thing where I wake up in the morning and I think about all the things that I'm grateful for. 
I find that it makes me a lot of more of a happier person. I find that it makes me crave less. In a world where we're consumers and we're constantly being bombarded by the next best thing in life, whether it's a man, whether it's a device, whether it's makeup, if you like take a step back and you're grateful for the things that you already have, life just becomes so much more beautiful. I find that that's something we all need to learn a little bit more of to be grateful for the things that we have rather than be upset about the things that we don't have. I picked up the Joe Fresh eyeshadow palette in neutrals. So this is what it looks like. I've done a couple swatches, but I haven't actually worn it yet. It looks really nice. Um, some of the swatches were pretty decent, so I thought I'd try it today. I don't have to do a crazy look today, so I thought, meh, might as well try this. Oh, I'm gonna start with this color at the top here, put that all over the lid. Number six is, life is all about the journey rather than the destination. And that's something that I try to remember every day. We all have these goals and dreams, but we forget to have fun in the meantime. We forget to appreciate the small things and realize that things take time and you have to be patient. The journey is where all the fun is. You look back and say, oh my God, remember what we took to get here? Realizing that sooner than later will make your life just that much better. Realizing that every day is precious and that every step of your journey is just as important, if not more important as the destination you're headed to. So the shadows are very buildable, which is nice. They seem to be blending. Yeah, they're definitely buildable, which is good because there's not a lot of pigment initially when you apply. So this kind of goes with number six. Life, very difficult when you're living in the future or the past. So whether it be a negative past, future that you're worrying about. And that can lead to a very unhappy life. I've spent so much of my life worrying about tomorrow or thinking about all the shit that's happened to me in my life. And let me tell you that that is no way to live. I have changed in so many ways as far as realizing that you should be living in this moment. In this moment, the here, the now, not tomorrow, not yesterday, and not next year. And you would be so surprised at how drastically your mood can switch when you're just appreciating what's in front of you. You don't know what the future has in store for you. All you can do is focus on the here and now in the sense that you can shape your future by what you do today and now. As far as thinking about the past and worrying about the past, and that's already happened. You can't, there's nothing you can do to change that. Thinking about it isn't going to help you in any way. 100% this is something you've got to know and you've got to try to practice in your life is living in the now. And that brings me to number eight. Learn to meditate. Meditation isn't all it's cracked up to be in a sense that it's not what you think. So it's not about, you know, sitting and humming until you reach a higher plane of life. All meditation is, is sitting in silence and in stillness, deep breathing, and letting your mind just drift into no thought. Benefits that you can get from this, not only will it teach you how to live in the moment, but it will help you relax. It will help you learn to deal with life better. Just the benefits of meditation can take you so far and it can just change your life. I used to be an insomniac and I used to have extreme anxiety, but through meditation, I was able to cure my anxiety and cure my insomnia. Like I tend to not make time for it. And that can be the hardest part about meditation is finding the time but then realizing that there's so much time to meditate. You wake up in the morning and take five minutes before you get out of bed. It will change your life. I highly recommend it. And if you guys are interested in me doing a video on how to meditate properly, let me know in the comments down below because I'd be more than happy to do a video in how to guide you into meditation. So far, I'm really liking this palette, guys. It's a lot nicer than I was expecting. So I'm going to attempt to do a cut crease today. to set the concealer. And then I'm just gonna smoke out the bottom lash line with the other two colors we use. And then I'm gonna bring that chocolate brown under my lash line. Okay guys, I'm just gonna throw on my lashes and do my eyebrows off camera. And then I'll be right back to finish up the face. So the eyelashes are on, my eyebrows are done. I'm gonna go into Anastasia Amrizi 
highlighter while we go into number nine. So number nine is hopes and dreams aren't just for children, they're for humans. That's what separates us as a species. We forget as we grow up that you know, we have an imagination, we forget how to use it, we're constantly being told that our dreams aren't reachable, but that's just simply not true. If you have a dream and a goal, you've got people in your life saying, no, that's never going to happen, you're never going to make that happen, you got to believe in yourself, believe that you can do whatever it is that you've been set out to do, don't let them go. Follow them till the end and believe in yourself even when no one else has. Okay guys, and last but not least, the number 10 thing that you need to know before you turn 30 is let others treat you the way you want to be treated. The old saying, treat others how you want to be treated, sometimes that doesn't always pan out. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. You can be kind-hearted and sweet and giving and caring as much as you want, but it doesn't necessarily mean that other people are going to treat you with the same respect. So in life, you decide how people treat you. you learn to respect yourself you learn when enough is enough you learn when to say no that is one of the most important lessons I've ever learned you have got to know when enough is enough and if somebody doesn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated then let them know like listen these are my limits and you're crossing them or maybe you just need to say goodbye it's a very valuable lesson in my opinion at least let's put on some lipstick I thought maybe today I'd do something fun, so I'm going to go into the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the Color London Fog. Whoa! That is so red. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it. I start doing kind of like a series where I give like, you know, a little bit of life advice and stuff because uh, I've learned a lot in my life and I want to be able to spread that into the world. So if you guys like this video and videos like this, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would love you to be part of the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.